Sometimes a home workout is all the therapy we need. So let's get started with more ideas for a home fitness routine. Ardha Padmasana is considered to be the gateway to Padmasana, the famous lotus pose. Though it is not as difficult, it gives most of the benefits of Padmasana. It increases flexibility, improves posture and has a calming effect on the mind. Encourage yourself to sit in any meditative posture during sitting activities like reading, scanning your mobile or even watching TV. Bend the right leg and place the foot on the opposite thigh in such a way that the sole is as close to the pelvic bone as possible. Now bend the other leg and place the foot on the inner thigh of the opposite leg. Keep the head, neck and spine in a straight line. Both knees should preferably touch the ground. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Now slowly open your eyes and you're all set for the day ahead. Side chops and wood chops using your body weight. The standing ab exercise creates a strong core for sports and life's adventures. This exercise helps to build the connection between your upper body and lower body. It burns a higher amount of calories when compared to regular ab exercises done on a mat. It will fit ideally into a weight loss training plan. The humble banana has many science-backed benefits. Lose weight, fight many diseases and increase our energy. All for less than 5 rupees a piece. They build lean muscle, help our muscles recover faster after exercise, boost our mood and reduce stress levels. Bananas are the everyday fruit. And rasam contains many essential vitamins that help improve digestion, skin and is good for the joints too. The antibacterial properties of pepper prevent cough and cold and many other chronic diseases as well. Here's a quick and easy way to create lemon rasam. Let's perform the basic stretches seated today to warm up the body to the next level of asanas. In the asana section this week, we'll cover three standing asanas, two sitting asanas and two asanas lying down. Let's start with the toe curl exercise. Curl the toes, hold for a few seconds. Breathe normally, then arch the toes back, open them out for a few seconds, breathing normally. Repeat this exercise four times to strengthen the muscles of the foot and the toes.
Now to strengthen the ankles and the knees, raise the right foot with the right hand and rotate the ankle. Big rotations, clockwise four times and anti-clockwise four times. Put the right foot down, raise the left foot with the left hand. Make big rotations at the ankle, clockwise four times and anti-clockwise four times, breathing normally. Now to strengthen the knees and the abdominal organs, pull the right thigh close to the body, press it against the abdomen, then stretch out the foot, arching the toes towards the body. Repeat this four times for the right leg. Try not to put the foot down throughout the exercise. Now let's repeat for the left leg. Pull the left leg close to the body. Stretch it out. Flex the toes inwards. Pull the thigh towards the body. Stretch it out. Flex the toes inwards. Repeat this four times without placing the leg down. Now a preparatory pose for Ardha Padmasan or Padmasan. Pull the right foot as close to the pelvic bone as possible and move the right knee up and down. Try to touch the floor and touch your body. Do this four times. Next take the left leg, keep the left foot near the pelvic bone. Lift and lower the left knee towards the body and touch the ground four times. Now let's finish the remaining stretches in Ardha Padmasana as shown right in the beginning. Neck rotation, forward, right, back, left. Repeat two times, clockwise and two times anti-clockwise. Hold in every direction for a few seconds, breathing normally. Feel a good stretch in the neck. Now to strengthen the wrist, elbows and the shoulders, place the arms straight out, touch the fingertips to the shoulders, stretch out the arms, open out the fingers, feel the stretch from the fingers to the shoulders. You can repeat this four times or more. Now to strengthen the shoulders, touch the elbows in front of the body, raise the elbows straight up, arch the elbows back, down, forward. Repeat the circular motion two times clockwise and two times anti-clockwise. Try to maintain the circles as big as possible. And finally, to energize the trunk, lean forward, right, back, left. Make big circles with the spine, two times clockwise and two times anti-clockwise. With this, we are warmed up and ready for asanas. Standing tall, place the right foot on the inner left thigh, place the palms together in Namaste, slowly raise the palms up and keep stretching upwards, maintaining balance by focusing on a point ahead. Bring the palms down, continue to check your balance, focus. Now repeat the same for the left foot, place the left foot on the inner side of the right thigh, place the palms together, raise the palms up, continue stretching with normal breathing. Maintain balance, maintain focus, bring the palms down, slowly put the left foot down. Now for balance on the toes, take one foot distance between the two feet, Talasan 1. Raise the hands up, simultaneously go up on your toes, keep stretching, 
then turn the palms slowly bring the hands and heels down together let's repeat for the left side of the body once again go up on the toes take the left hand up keep stretching maintain balance maintain focus turn the palms bring the hand and the heels down together now utkatasan to jump start your day with the hands parallel to the floor go up once again on your toes squat slowly keeping the thighs parallel to one another stay in a squat then rise up slowly once again up on your toes hands parallel bring the hands and heels down together now seated yoga mudra sit in padmasan if you can interlock your left wrist with the right hand stretch and try to place your forehead on the ground twist to the right place the chin on your right knee gently come up twist to the left and place the chin on your left knee this completes half a round of yoga mudra now change the position of the hands let's hold the right wrist with the left palm bend forward touch the forehead to the floor come up twist to the right chin to the right knee come up once again twist to the left chin to the left knee keep the hands relaxed come up that's a full round of yoga mudra the second and last seated asana stretch the legs out for paschimottanasan draw the toes inwards keep stretching the hand up once you've got full length for your body start bending forward try not to curl the back hold the toes pull the toes towards the body to strengthen the hamstrings and the back stretch your hands up once again stretch up turn the palms bring the hands down from the sides now for two lying down asanas first lying down asana setu bandhasana keep the feet parallel palms on the floor raise the hips as high as you can go breathing normally hold the position for a few seconds then slowly release the stretch bring the hips down place the hips on the ground now for the last lying down asana abdominal compression good for the back and the internal organs hug your knees then try to touch your forehead to the knees release the posture continue hugging the knees but bring the head down release slowly bring both the feet and place them back on the ground music evokes emotion and emotion can bring with it memory let's repeat the stretches and asanas without instructions this time
Nat Pratanasana increases our body balance and strengthens the lower back muscles. It improves our concentration, neuromuscular coordination and brings about synchronization of our body's movements. Stand erect with your feet together. Keep your hands in a prayer pose near your chest. Focus your eyes at one point straight ahead. Now slowly kneel down, keeping your legs and knees together. Now gently touch the knees on the ground and sit on the raised heels. Try not to bring the knees down with a jerk. Once again slowly lift the knees off the floor and rise up again slowly to come back to the standing position.